Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good day Welcome back to our series of lecture in fluid mechanics Today we will learn about internal flow Okay, let's go to the outcome for this topic First, have a deeper understanding on lamina and turbulent flow in pipes and the analysis of fully developed uh, flow Second is to calculate uh, the major and minor losses associated with the pipe flow in piping networks and determine the, flow, the pumping power requirements and the third outcomes uh, uh, for this topic is to understand the various velocity and flow rate measurement techniques Okay, let's start uh, for this topic First is, uh, what is internal flow? Again, okay, internal flow is the flow of a completely bounded fluid by solid surface such as in pipe or ducting okay uh, the key point here is completely bounded fluid so the situation for internal flow it need, it need to be a fluid completely bounded in a solid so it cannot be uh, we cannot do uh, it, we, you cannot use the analysis in internal flow in the situation where in, in the in case of if the fluid okay example is water water is half full of the pipe okay you cannot use uh, this uh, internal flow top, uh, flow equation and you also cannot use uh, this equation in a river analysis drain or anything when it is not completely bounded so uh, for this topic okay you can only use in in the situation okay as an example in the pipeline where uh, the water is fully uh, comp completely bounded by solid or in a rectangular ducting okay and uh, normally uh, for air or anything for cooling application or fluid distribution networks first uh, you need to know about lamina and turbulent i think you have gone through the experiment where you differentiate between lamina and also turbulent and also tension flow okay you use a uh, filament of dye and lamina is the situation when you can see clearly the uh, the filament of dye okay transition is the situation when you can see partly the filament but uh, it is not uh, it is not as clear as uh, lamina Okay, and then uh, some of the dye is uh, you you cannot see uh, clearly because it's, it become mixed with the with the flow. And turbulent is the situation when you cannot see at all the filament of dye. Okay, uh, this case type of uh, flow is depend on velocity and viscosity. Okay, the velocity as the velocity create the inertia, and then from the inertia, the filament become go in a straight line but uh, because of the uh, friction to the surface okay it create a water or water in a circular, move, a circular movement at the at the boundary at the like, a boundary between the, the fluid and the surface okay this uh, water or this circular motion of, of boundary okay disturb uh, disturb the movement this is uh, occur in a transition and this is occur in a turbulent when where the direction of the moment is cannot be see clearly at all okay what is uh, lamina and turbulent uh, so to determine uh, is it is uh, the flow is lamina or turbulent scientists use a parameter called Renaud number Renaud number is dimensionless uh, dimensionless uh, unit so you, it is not meter not anything it, it, it has no unit at all so in a number is equal to density rho times the velocity times the hydraulic diameter over mu or viscosity of the of the of the fluid okay here mu and nu mu is dynamic viscosity and nu is the kinematic viscosity if the Renaud numbers is less than 2300 we can uh, we can sh sure the analysis is in lamina but 
in between 2300 to 4000 it is attention flow and then if the Renault number is more than 4000 it is in a situation called turbulent flow okay the difference between lamina and turbulent is first uh, you know that the Renault number is less than 2000 and then flow in layer parallel to the boundary parabolic velocity profile low shear stress okay because uh, the velocity is uh, low and then it is in a low shear stress simple mathematic analysis is possible rare in practice in water system okay uh, for turbulent okay Renault number is more than 4000 particle parts completely irregular you cannot see clearly at all uh, the, the the line of uh, of the of the pattern of the movement fuller velocity profile high shear stress Mathematical analysis is very difficult, so experimental measures are used, and then most common type of flow. Okay, normally the flow that uh, we facing uh, in the pipe is turbulent flow, not not uh, laminar flow. Okay, uh, <coughs> we uh, go to go for the unit number. Unit number is the ten. Uh, unit number, okay. Okay, uh, for in a number, uh, the transition from lamina to turbulent flow depends on the geometry, surface roughness, flow velocity, surface temperature, and the type of fluid. So, uh, and then one one parameter in 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 a number is d hydraulic diameter. So hydraulic diameter is equal to four e four area over b, and then using this equation for area for area is uh, for circular tube is pi d square over 4 and then for the perimeter perimeter for circular tube is pi d so uh, for circular tube the hydraulic diameter is equal to d is equal to the diameter of the of the pipe of the tube and for square duct okay if the the side is a and a and then d is equal to 4 area area is a times a is a square and then for the perimeter is equal to a plus a plus a plus a for a and then uh, for square duct the, the hydraulic diameter is equal to a but for the rectangular duct where the side is not same the d is uh, equal to 4 a over, over perimeter again and then you got that the hydraulic diameter for a rectangular duct is equal to 2ab over a plus b. Okay, let's start with one example, one AC example. In the case where the density is equal to 900 kilogram per meter cube and velocity is 2.5 meter per second, pipe diameter is 25 millimeter and viscosity is equal to 0 0.35, we can calculate easily the unit number is equal to rho vd over mu 900 okay 900 for density uh, velocity is 2.5 meter per second and then for the pipe diameter 25 millimeter change it into si change it into 0 0.025 mit, meter over the uh, viscosity is 0 0.35 again 0 0.35 you got a uh, unit number is equal to 160.7 Okay, again, the unit number has no units. Okay, so it's just 160.7 without any units. Okay, for friction loss, uh, how to determine the friction loss? Okay, for a specified flow rate, the pressure drop and thus the required pumping power is proportional to the length of the pipe and the viscosity of the fluid. But it is inversely proportional to the fourth power in, of the diameter of the pipe. Okay, for fluid uh, density, viscosity, and flowing to a pipe with constant diameter at average flow, the pressure drop will be delta P is equal to F. Okay, the, this is the friction uh, factor time L, time length of the pipe, over D, time rho V square over 2. Okay, this is uh, normally uh, for, for this analysis scientists uh, check the pressure drop for the for a hose and the pipe and then they found out the delta p is equal to this equation okay f deficient factor delta p is the expand energy overcome the flow flow friction 
so uh, this is delta p and then you can convert uh, for delta p if uh, because uh, the situation is a horizontal pipe so hash l is equal to delta p over g and then you can get the head loss is equal to f l over d v square uh, v square over 2g okay the difference is just uh, n g here then you can uh, get the parameter of hash l trick uh, row and g okay uh, this is the difference between head loss and, and pressure drop you need uh, to make note for these two equation okay the equation for pressure losses and the head losses okay pressure drop uh, is not always equal to delta pl the delta p because of the friction losses it only occur for a horizontal pipe but not occur in a other type of pipe okay if there is a fitting if the if we, the flow in is in vertical there is a different in pipe diameter or anything it, you cannot assume that the pressure drop is equal to the pressure drop because of the losses okay because uh, if you use the Bernoulli equation then you can get the delta p is equal to p alpha v square v2 square minus alpha 1 with 1 square over 2 plus over g sec 2 of l minus sec 1 plus h turbine and h pump okay we i think uh, you get used with the Bernoulli equation and power equation from previous uh, chapter so delta p equal to over g h l only if there is no cross-sectional different okay when there is uh, no cross-sectional different different then v2 is equal to v1 so you can you can cancel this part and the pipe is horizontal okay there is no effect of uh, potential energy there is no pump or turbine in the uh, in the pipeline in just in the in that uh, situation delta p okay p2 p1 minus p2 will will, will equal to rho g time hl otherwise delta p is not equal to rho g hl Okay, you can uh, okay. So in this uh, two equation, uh, you you need to make note for about this uh, two equation to calculate the uh, W pump. W pump is equal to V dot time delta P L or uh, pumping power to overcome the losses equal to M dot time G time H L. Okay, or V dot time rho G H L okay uh you see f before the friction factor only for lamina flow okay only for lamina flow there is there will be a different equation for turbulent flow so for lamina flow f equal to 64 mu over rho d v average or friction factor equal to 64 over the e naught number Okay, uh, F equal to 64 over unit number and then HF okay so the tapi okay we got we have uh, go to this uh, before we go to the first example okay the first example is water at 5 degree C or equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube mu equal to 1.519 times 10 power of negative 3 kilogram meter per meter per second is flowing steadily to 0 0.3 centimeter diameter 9 meter long horizontal pipe okay the length is 9 meter and the diameter is 0 0.3 centimeter determine the head loss and the pressure drop okay and the pumping power requirement to overcome this pressure drop so uh, first you need to calculate the unit number to, to confirm uh, the type of flow okay when the number is equal to rho vd over mu the density is 1000 v is 0 0.9 meter per second given in the equation and the diameter is given the, the in, in the equation is 0 0.3 centimeter you convert into meter then you got 0 0.003 meter and mu okay yeah it is uh, this is the mu okay you and you calculate you got the inner number is equal to 1777 and it is less than 2300 so you can confirm now the, the flow is lamina then you can calculate the friction factor okay friction factor f equal to 64 over a naught number 
64 over 1777 is equal to 0.036. And then you also can calculate the hash L, hash L equal to F L over T V square over 2G. F equal to 0 0.036. Okay, you can create, you have, uh, you got it from here. And the length is 9 meter. The diameter is 0 0.003 meter. V square, V is uh, 0 0.9 uh, square. Over G is 9.81. And then you get the head loss is equal to 4.46 meter. Okay, uh, you have solved uh, the first part. And then we go the, to the second and the third part. The second is the pressure drop and the pumping power requirement to overcome the pressure drop. Okay, to, get, uh, to calculate the pressure drop, delta P is equal to, okay, uh, I hope you still, uh, you have, uh, again, not, uh, this equation before. So, delta P is equal to F L over D or V square over 2. Okay, uh, and then put every information that you got. And then you get uh, the delta P is equal to 43,700 kilopascal. Or you also can, uh, and, and then, okay, you have uh, now uh, get the uh, delta P. And then lastly, you uh, to calculate the pumping power, okay, you know that pumping power W is equal to V dot time delta P. So to calculate the V dot, V dot is uh, the flow rate, flow rate is equal to velocity time a time area and then they have calculate here so the flow rate is equal to 6.36 times 10 power of negative 6 meter cube per second using all the information that we got v dot is equal to v dot, v dot here and then the delta p is 43,740 you got at uh, the pumping power requirement to overcome the friction is equal to 0 0.281. Okay, let's go next. Uh, turbulent flow in pipe. Okay, you have to understand about the lamina. And here we go for two turbulent flow. Okay, most flows encounter in engineering practice are turbulent. Okay, and thus it is important to understand how turbulent effect the wall shear stress. Okay, uh, for friction factor in turbulent flow pipe, uh, it not only depend on Renault numbers. Okay, in lamina, it just depend on lamina Renault number. But now in turbulent, okay, uh, it is depend on Renault number relative roughness of the pipe. Okay, average pipe wall roughness over the diameter. Average pipe wall roughness depends on the pipe material and its condition okay, to get uh, the average pipe wall roughness. And friction factor can be obtained from Moody diagram. So to make life much easier, the engineer has produced this Moody diagram uh, to, uh, for, to, to, for you to able to get the friction factor for the, for, for the, the cases that you are given. Okay, uh, here is the F, the friction factor which, which uh, you need to calculate the losses in the pipeline. So, in the right hand side, it is the relative roughness, okay, it, uh, over the diameter. Okay, this is the numbers and it is, will go for, with the red line here. Okay, in the bottom, it is the red dot number for, for the X scale. Eh? For the scale is a uh, unit number, okay, in a log uh, scale. So to get the relative roughness, okay, relative roughness, uh, uh, relative uh, the roughness for roughness is depend on the material of the pipe, okay. If it is glass, it is equal uh, nearly equal to zero. If it is concrete. The roughness is 0 0.9 to 9. For wood stiff, 0 0.6. For rubber, it's 0 0.01. And go on for commercial, uh, st commercial steel is equal to 0 0.045. Okay, let's uh, start with uh, the, uh, the second example. Okay, the example, uh, the example is water at 15 degrees C. Density is equal to 999 kilogram per meter cube. 
and mu is equal to 1.138 times 10 power of negative 3 kilogram per meter per second is flowing steadily in 5 cm diameter horizontal pipe made of stainless steel at a rate of 0.006 meter cube per second. Determine the pressure drop, the head loss and the required pumping power input to for flow over 60 meter long section of the pipe. Okay, now uh, the flow rate is 0.06 meter cube per second. The meter is 5 centimeter, and the length of the pipe is 60 meter. Okay, first uh, you need to determine the type of fluid. Okay, so this is given the flow rate. So you need to calculate the v, the velocity. Velocity is equal to v dot over a. Okay, we got here v dot is equal to 0.006 meter cube per second, and area for the pipe is pi d square over 4 pi times 0 0.005 square over 4 then you get the velocity is equal to 3.06 meter per second <coughs> so for unit number the unit number is for vt over mu rho is 999 kilogram per second v is 0 0.06 and d is 0 0.05 okay, mu is 1.138 times 10 power of negative 3 you get the you know, number is equal to 134,300 so it's more than 4,000 then you can confirm here the flow is turbulent okay once you know the flow is turbulent the important uh, parameter that you need to know is first the Reynolds number and second the relative roughness of the pipe so relative roughness uh, for epsilon okay you need to get here the type of pipe okay the type of pipe is stainless steel then we refer again to this table for stainless steel okay the roughness is equal to 0 0.002 so here we got uh, the roughness of the pipe okay because of the material is 0 0.002 and then the diameter of the pipe is 50 cent millimeter okay five centimeter and we get here the relative roughness is equal to 0 0.0004 okay uh, 4 times 10 power of negative 5 okay then we uh, go to the Moody diagram okay Moody diagram is not given in your final exam so you so this slide is really important for you so for uh for okay we go we go to the equation again uh the unit number is 134,300 and then the relative roughness is 0 0.00004 okay uh first we go to the uh, you make a straight line for the in uh, for the unit number you got the unit number is equal to 134,000 okay nearly this line and then for relative roughness is five, uh, 4 times uh, 10 power of negative 5. Okay, make this line. Okay, this line, the line need to be uh, similar to the, to, the, to the other line here. Okay, so it's not a straight line. Okay, you produce uh, this line. And then for F is the from the intersection of the line. Go make a straight line to the left part of the graph. And this is the uh, this is the F. Okay, for this situation, F equal to zero point zero one seven. Then just calculate the delta P. Okay, delta P is equal to F L over D rho V square over two. Okay, put uh, put every information you know. You have uh, just found that F equal to zero point zero one seven. Okay, L over D, the length of the pipe is 60 meter, the diameter is 0 0.05, density is 999, and V square is equal to 3.06, okay, square, okay, I, uh, I forget here uh, to put the square. And then, uh, by calculating it, you got that delta P is equal to 96,500 pascal, or 96.5 kilopascal. So for HL, HL is equal to delta PL over G, and you get here the, the HL is equal to 9.85. So to calculate the uh, W pump, okay, W, the work for pump is equal to V dot times delta P. V dot is the flow rate, delta P is the uh, pressure difference. 
Okay, uh, Freud is 0.006 and delta P you get here is equal to 96,514. Then you get uh, the work for pump to overcome the friction is equal to 579 watt. Okay, we have uh, go for major losses. Major losses is because of the friction. Now we go to the minor losses. Okay. The fluid in a typical piping system pass through a various fitting, valve, band, elbow, teeth, inlet, exit, and expansion and contraction in the in the addition to the pipe. This, comp this component interrupt the smooth flow of the fluid and cause additional losses because of the flow separation and mixing with the induced. In a typical system with a long pipe, these losses are minor compared to the total head loss of the pipe and that is major losses that you are, you have uh, learned how to calculate it before. Many losses are usually expressed in terms of loss coefficient, KL. Okay, KL is equal to uh, uh, HL over V squared over 2G. Then for many losses, HL, the head losses for many losses, is equal to KL times V squared over 2G. Okay, what is uh, KL here? Okay, KL. Oh, sorry. Uh, for the situation where there is a... Oh, to, to determine the total head loss. Okay, the total, total head loss is equal to major head loss plus the minor head loss. So, we need to add the major losses and minor, minor losses from your calculation. Okay, this is uh, for uh, total head loss. Uh, okay, for HL is equal to FL over D. Okay, this is for major losses plus the sum of KL. Okay, K uh, that time V squared over 2G. So to get the value of KL, okay, there is a normally handbook for uh, for the for to get the KL. Okay, as an example, in the situation for inlet, eh, for pipe inlet, if it is a sharp edges inlet, then KL is equal to 0 0.5. If it is a well-grounded inlet, then KL equal to 0 0.03. KL will be different depend on the on the situation. Okay, even for the for the inlet, uh, if it is a sharp edge, you can see that the value for KL is really different for for the situation for the well-grounded uh, well-rounded inlet. Okay, you also can calculate uh, for certain or gradual expansion. Okay, using this uh, this graph or this graph, and okay, uh, you okay, you have no idea about the alpha. Okay, this is uh, for certain or gradual expansion to get the KL. It depend on the d1 and d2. If uh, d1 uh, over d2 is equal to 0 0.2, then the KL is equal to 0 0.3. Okay, you need to calculate. Uh, you you need to know the diameter uh, for the uh, smaller pipe or the bigger pipe, and then uh, from the, only from this situation you can determine the KL. Okay, it also happen for the contraction. Okay, the different number of KL for different situation of uh, of uh, decrease for the uh, pipe contraction. Okay, many losses for sudden enlargement. Okay, you can uh, get it from this table here. And for the sudden contraction, okay, also you can get from this table here. Uh, and this is uh, several more uh, KL from different situation. For elbow, okay, you uh, in pipeline always can counter with elbow. So if it is 90 degree and flank, it is 0 0.3. If it is treated, uh, it is 1.5 and uh, for different situation, different number of KL. <coughs> different number of KL. Okay, this is a uh, 4.0 or anything. Okay, uh, as I told before, uh, there will be no table, no addition table, uh, no addition table, no body decor or anything. So you, uh, I am really suggest for you to print or 
or, 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 or do anything to make sure that you have this all information before your final exam. Let's try some example. Okay, first, uh, a 6 cm diameter horizontal pipe, water pipe expands gradually to a 9 cm diameter pipe. The wall of the expansion section are angled 10 degrees from the horizontal axis. The average velocity and the pressure of water before and uh, before the expansion section are 7 meter per second and 150 kilopascal respectively. Determine the head loss in the expansion section and the pressure in the larger diameter pipe. Okay, uh, from 6 cm to 9 cm. Uh, the water velocity before the expansion is 7 meter per second and the pressure is 150 kilopascal. So we know that uh, you, you already have been given uh, this table before. Okay, uh, hope you can refer to back uh, to previous slide. So, uh, okay, let's uh, look at the angle. Okay, in the question is given that the wall of the expansion section are angle 10 degree from the horizontal uh, axis. It means that one part of the wall is 10 degree from the horizontal axis. So for both part, it become 20 degree. That's why we use uh, this uh, this uh, table. Theta equal to 20 degree. Now uh, look at the for to determine the KL. You need the inner diameter for the uh, for the first pipe and the second pipe. So, okay, uh, D over D is 6 cm over 9 cm because is, uh, now we need the number is 0 0.667. You then have this number at, at the table. So, what you, you need to do is using the interpolation. So, you know that uh, 0 0.667 located between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. Okay. So I just do the interpolation. I think you have uh, learned before about the interpolation. So you got the KL equal to 0 0.133. Okay, using the information KL equal to 0 0.133. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, you just get the information about the uh, V1 equal to 7 meter per second. You don't know the uh, velocity at the second pipe. So what you need to do is, uh, okay, you, you learned this before. VA time, v, V2 time A2 equal to A1 time V1. So to get the velocity at, pipe, at, the, at the second pipe is equal to V2 square, D2 square, D1 square over D2 square time the uh, initial the velocity at pipe one so you got the velocity at pipe two is equal to 3.11 meter per second and for the hl kl you already account before is equal to 0 0.133 the velocity at the first pipe is 7 meter per second over 2g then you get the hl equal to 0 0.33 3 meter Okay, uh, finish for the first part uh, to count the value of HL. Second, to get the pressure at the second part using the, the energy equation. Okay, you know that it is a horizontal pipe. Then you can cancel Z1 and Z2. There is no pump, there is no turbine. Okay, uh, so the, the equation become P, the, the element of equation that you, we need to use now is just the pressure, the kinetic energy for pipe 1, pressure at pipe 2, kinetic energy for pipe 2, and the total head losses in the pipeline. Okay, put all the, uh, for all the information that you got before, then you get the P2 equal to 168 kilopascal. Okay, some more example. Uh, determine the energy loss that will occur as 0 0.06 meter cube per second water flows from a 40 millimeter pipe diameter into a 100 millimeter pipe diameter through a sudden expansion. Kinetic energy coefficient factor alpha equal to 1.06. Okay, you know that uh, to get the head loss, HL is uh, head loss. Uh, this is because it is a minor losses. Hm equal to kv square over 2g. 
and to get the velocity at the first pipe is equal to q over a <coughs> q is v dot uh, so some some book use uh, q some book use v dot okay uh, the <coughs> the flow is 0 0.06 meter cube per second a is pi d square over 4 okay then you got uh, the velocity at the first pipe is equal to 3.58 meter per second okay uh, before you have been given okay the equation for to get the kl for uh, s from uh, sudden expansion the equation is kl equal to alpha 1 minus d for the first pipe square over d for the second pipe square okay and then square uh, square for all the uh, equation so put all the uh, information you got then you get KL is equal to 0 0.75. So continue uh, continue your calculation for HL. HL equal to K. K is 0 0.75. The velocity for the first pipe is 3.58 square over 2G. The HL for this uh, question, this case is 0 0.49 meter. Okay, another calculation, another uh, example. Water at 10 degrees uh, Celsius is flowing at a rate of 0 0.03 meter cube per second to a pipe. The pipe has 150 millimeter diameter, 500 meter long, and the surface roughness is estimated at 0 0.06 millimeter. So uh, you are given the, the surface roughness, the roughness 0 0.06. Find the heat loss and the pressure drop throughout the length of the pipe. Okay. Uh, you have been given density is 1000 kilogram per meter cube and mu is 1.3 times 10 power of negative 3. Okay, first uh, you need to calculate the velocity v, v equal to q over a. Uh, a is uh, 0 0.01767 meter square and v is equal to flow rate over area. Flow rate is 0 0.03 given in the equation. A is uh, 0 0.0176, you have gone before, equal to 1.7 meter per second. And, and then calculate the Renault number. Renault number is rho v, uh, rho v t over mu. Okay. Then you get here, uh, Renault number is 1.96 times 10 power of 5. You know that it is a turbulent flow. So for turbulent flow, to get the to get the uh, the f you need to use the moody diagram so okay uh, for okay to use uh, the moody diagram you need the uh, information of relative roughness so epsilon is given in the question 0 0.06 and the uh, dia okay 0 0.06 millimeter but the diameter given is Where's the diameter? Oh, the diameter is 160 millimeter. So if you convert everything to become meter, it's become 0 0.06 times 10 power of negative 3 over 0 0.15. So the relative roughness is 4 times 10 power of negative 4. Okay, using these two information, the relative roughness is 4 times 10 power of negative 4 and the Renault number is 1.96 times 10 power of 5. Oh, okay. So we go to the okay, uh, the body chart. First, uh, okay, the unit number, okay, uh, one point some one point nine something ten power uh, ten power of negative uh, ten power of five, and then for the relative of is four times ten power of negative four. The intersection is here. And then you got is about zero point zero one eight five maybe. So what I use in the question in the uh, survey is oh okay they use just 0 0.018 okay so <laughs> this uh, in here I write in 0 0.019 but in here I write in 0 0.018 okay you need to correct it uh, okay uh, for the head loss head losses is equal to F L V square over 2 G two G D F is 0 0.018 L is 500 meter and V is 1.7 uh, meter per second. D is 0 0.15. Uh, 
2GG is 9.81 and you got the head losses is equal to 8.84 okay uh, the head loss and second is find the pressure drop throughout the length of the pipe so delta P is equal to rho G uh, times the head loss rho is 1000 G is 9.81 and head losses is 8.84 and you get the uh, pressure drop, uh, pressure difference is 8.67 times 10 power of 4. Okay, then this is not 104 Pascal. Okay, last example. Oh, no, 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 the second last example, I think. Water at 10 degrees Celsius flow from a large reservoir to a smaller one to a 5 centimeter diameter cast iron pipe system. Determine the elevation Z1 for a flow rate of 6 liter per second or 6 times 10 power of negative 3 meter cube per second. The properties, okay, uh, here's the information about the density, mu, and roughness of the cast iron is 0 0.00026. Okay, uh, for the calculation, uh, sorry, what, what's the information you need? Uh, oh, the information is Z. Okay, what you need is Z here. So you know that uh, first using the Bernoulli equation, <coughs> the, the, the energy equation. Okay, uh, there is no pressure at point one. There is no pressure at point two. It is open to the atmosphere. Uh, point one and point two is at the top of the tank, so you can ignore the V. So just Z1 for the first part and for the second part is Z2 and also HL. Now you need to calculate the HL. HL total is equal to HL major plus minor. Okay, to get uh, HL, you need to calculate the velocity of the of the flow. So velocity is equal to V dot over A. V dot is 0 0.006 meter cube per second and A is pi d square over 4. Okay, the diameter is 0 0.05 meter. Uh, velocity is 3.06 meter per second. Okay, calculate the Reno number. Rho VD over mu. Okay, put all the information. Then you get the Reno number is 117,000. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, you know that it is in turbulent. And then noting that epsilon over d, okay, epsilon is so, if so given in the equation equal to 0 0.0026 and d is 0 0.05. So uh, the relative roughness is 0 0.0052. Okay, using this two equal two information, oh, okay, uh, this is another another alternative way if you don't want to use the Moody diagram but it's much difficult to calculate uh, using this equation I suggest for my student just use uh, Moody diagram to solve your, your question about uh, turbulent and to get the F okay again uh, using these two information 170,000 and 0 0.0052 117,000 okay about this line and for the second information is what is it I uh, forget uh, 0 0.0052 okay, 0 0.005 0 0.0052 I think about this line Interne the intersection is here project it to the y axis it's about 0 0.032 ok so f equal to 0 0.0315 uh, ok this is for major losses and then uh, to get for the minor losses, okay, you you, you already get uh, F here, so you need to get the del uh, sum of K. So sum of K is just sum all the information, uh, all uh, the condition. Okay, it has the intents. Intents is equal to zero point five. Okay, here zero point five. There is two elbow. The KL for elbow is zero point three. Two times zero point three. There is a wharf and uh, KL for the wharf is 0 0.2 and also for the exit KL is equal to 1.06 okay so total for KL is 2.36 then the total head loss uh, and the elevation for the source become okay just uh, put all the information you have calculated before KF equal to 0 0.0316 L is 89 meter so how you get the 89 meter 
okay 80 meter and 9 meter for uh, okay 80 meter for horizontal and 9 meter for the vertical it, the total is 80, 89 meter over d plus sum of kl times v square over 2g so s shell is equal to 27.9 meter then to get the information for z1 z1 is equal to z2 plus s shell okay so z2 is 4 Z, uh, hash shell is uh, 27.9 so Z1 is equal to 31.9 meter okay okay uh, piping system with pump and turbine okay you still can calculate the head loss for the calculation with pump and turbine so uh, you already know for this part, okay, uh, W4 pump is O, G, O, okay, uh, you, normally we use the V dot here, O, V dot, G, hash pump, okay, V dot and Q is fluid, okay, some book use V dot, some book use Q, okay, uh, then for the pump, okay, uh, this equation actually is just from the from the energy equation. So normally this just the information uh, needed for pump. Okay, otherwise you just use uh, the Bernoulli equation, cancel the thing that you that you don't want you that uh, is equal to zero, then you get the 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 equation. So you didn't don't need to remember this uh, this equation. Just use the just use the energy equation. Okay, let's try uh, one example. A vented tank is to be filled with fuel. Density is 920 kilogram per meter cube and viscosity is 0 0.045. Uh, from an underground reservoir using a 20 meter long, 5 centimeter diameter plastic. Okay, epsilon is equal to zero hose with a slightly rounded entrance. Okay. Is given the KL for the entrance is KL is equal to 0 0.12 and 290 degrees smooth bands KL is equal to 0 0.3 so there is two band I don't know where is it so the band is 0 0.3 0 0.3 and there is two band okay so for band is two times 0 0.3 the elevation difference between the oil level in the reservoir yeah and the top of the tanker where the hose is discharged is 5 meter. The capacity of the tanker is 18 meter cube and the filling time is 30 minutes. Taking the kinetic energy correction factor at hose and discharge to be 1.06 and summing uh, the overall pump efficiency is 82%, determine the required power input to the pump. Okay. Uh, First, uh, for any or type uh, of okay, as long as it is uh, either internal flow, pumping in the pipe or anything, the important equation is the energy equation. So write up the energy equation and then cancel the thing that you didn't need or equal to zero. So the P for point 0.1 and point 0.2 is equal to zero. P1 equal to zero, P2 equal to zero and okay the velocity at the first reservoir and the second reservoir is equal to zero so uh, the information that you need is only hash pump z1 z2 and hash l okay just this information okay and then uh, for hash l okay hash l is the sum for hash l major plus hash l minor Okay, FL over D plus uh, sum of K, L, uh, V squared over 2G. Uh, so, you need the velocity. Velocity is equal to... Uh, okay, uh, because uh, they didn't give uh, the V dot, uh, the flow rate. But it is given that 18 meter cube of the tank is filled uh, in 30 minutes. So, you can calculate here 18 meter cube over the time use is uh, 30 times 60 second okay then uh, we get here that uh, the flow rate is 0 0.01 meter cube per second so from the information from the flow rate you can calculate the v2 v2 equal to v over a then the velocity is 5.093 meter per second okay for unit number 
uh, from this information you can calculate the unit number directly unit number is for vd over mu okay put all the equation the, the information you have or oh, is 920 v is 5.09 and diameter is 0 0.05 mu is uh, given 0 0.045 then the unit number is 5206 it is more than 4000 then it is a turbulent flow Okay, the information you got here is uh, unit number is 5206 and it is also given that uh, the, the material used is plastic pipe and smooth and the epsilon is equal to zero. So to use the Moody chart, you just need the information of unit number is equal to 5206. Okay, 5206 is okay, about here. And uh, for smooth pipe, okay, just use this line. So use this line, okay. So the intersection is located here. It's about 0 0.038 or 0 0.039. Okay, uh, 0 0.037. And uh, then the sum for the loss for my for minor losses, KL for minor losses, KL is 0 0.12, and for the band, there is two band, 0 0.3 times 2, 0 0.72. Okay, use this, this information to calculate the HL. HL is equal to FL over D plus sum of K. F 0 0.037. L, the length of pipe is 20 meter. D and diameter is 0 0.05 plus KL. Sum of KL is 0 0.72. Time V square over 2G. And we got here, HL is equal to 20.5 meter. So, uh, but with the information of HL, you can put back into the energy equation hash pump equal to v square over 2g plus z plus hash l uh, okay using this information then hash pump is equal to 26.9 meter okay uh, so for okay then uh, hash pump is equal to 26.9 meter so to for to to determine the work uh, the the what the power for the pump okay is equal to v dot g or g hash pump over the uh, efficiency of the pump okay put all the information then you can hear that the pump use is two point nine six kilowatt okay finish for this question. Okay, last topic is the piping network. Okay, how about if uh, the pipes is not in series but in parallel pipe? Okay. So, uh, for this uh, cases, okay, uh, the flow will uh, is assumed uh, to go in both pipe, and the losses for both both pipe is same okay mm. okay let's uh okay you, you already know uh pipe in series now you need, need uh, some information about pipe in parallel okay total flow rate is the sum for uh, the flow rates in individual pipe okay the total is the sum for the individual pipe head loss in this is the same in each pipe so okay for this pipe and this pipe the loss the total head loss is same Okay, junction pressure are the same. Okay, PA and PB, we assume that uh, the pressure in both point is the same before and after the junction. Okay, uh, so let's try one example. I think uh, this is the last example. A certain part of cast iron piping of the water distribution system involved in parallel section. Both parallel section pipe have a diameter of 30 cm and the flow is fully turbulent. One of the bunch, pipe A, is 1,000 meter, okay, and the, while the second um, pipe is 3,000 meter long. If the flow rate to the pipe A is 0 0.4 meter cube per second, determine the flow rate to the pipe B. Disregard my analysis and assume the water temperature to be 15 degrees C. Uh, okay, so you didn't need to calculate the minor losses, just calculate the major losses. Show that the flow is fully turbulent and thus the friction factor is independent of uh, unit number. Okay, uh, first uh, we calculate the V for the first pipe. 
uh, you know that we did for the pipe A is 0.4 meter cube per second and the area is uh, the diameter is 0 0.3 meters uh, 0 0.3 meter so uh, you can calculate the velocity is equal to 5.656 meter per second okay using this information uh, Uh, using this, uh, what is it? Okay, using this information, okay, about for for v, okay, v is uh, five point six uh five six meter per second, and then uh, this is the information for major losses. However, the material used for both pipe is same. So because uh, we we don't know the f yet, but uh, you know that the loss for uh, for the the major losses for the uh, for pipe a is equal to major losses for pipe B. Then, you use uh, this equation, cancel F, okay, the, what is different is L, V, the diameter is also the same, okay, you can cancel F and also D, uh, and also 2G, okay. You can use uh, point to point, uh, using the pen, pen. <coughs> so, F A equal to F2, so we can cancel this part, D and 2G is the same for both part. You can also cancel for this part. Okay, so you just uh, the the equation left is L A V square for the first part for the pipe A is equal to L B time V B uh, and time V B square. Okay, uh, manipulate this equation. You get the uh, VB, VB equal to 3.267 meter per second. Then to get the flow rate of pipe B is V dot equal to E time VB. Okay, it is 0 0.231 meter cube per second. Okay, we need number for pipe B. Okay, pipe B is much smaller. Okay, uh, just put your information here. Then you get that uh, for pipe B, the unit number is 0 0.86 10 power 4, which is still greater than 4000. So you can get the relative roughness of the pipe, okay, uh, 0 0.0086, okay. You know that the unit number, you know that uh, epsilon over D. Then uh, you can observe using the, uh, the, the, Moody diagram to get F and another thing. Okay, that's all for the lecture today. This is the summary. You know the laminar flow, uh, unit number, and then for the turbulent flow, and also the uh, minor losses, and you know how to calculate the pipe network and pump selection. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for your time.